So let me catch up on what's been going on since the last episode. So Monday and Tuesday it snowed, so I couldn't go hunting. Uh, Wednesday, I went, Wednesday afternoon, I went back into that spot where I saw the buck. Uh, and it looked like two or three does had gone through one time and possibly that big buck there. There was a big track there that uh, could have been him. But I hunted there all night Wednesday and didn't see anything. So I went back down there Thursday and when I walked in, there wasn't any new sign, just the old sign that I'd seen. And all I saw was one doe come through. Uh, meanwhile, both days when I was walking in there, I was going by fresh sign. I mean, beat down trails. There was one trail that went up through between where I killed the first doe at the beginning of the season and where I filmed that uh, spike horn rubbing on the uh, branch there. Uh, and there was another trail just down past there going up into the same thing. So I pulled my stand out last night and today is Friday and I'm going to, uh, I think, set my stand up somewhere is up around where that uh, spike horn was rubbing there and uh, see if I can get back into the deer. Uh, one spot on a trail that was going in, uh, there looked like there's some blood there from a doe that was in heat there. Uh, uh, you can see where she urinated on the snow there and it looked pretty dark. Uh, I might be wrong, but it looks like it. Uh, anyway, so that's what I'm going to do today is go in there and get my stand set up and uh, hopefully tie into that deer again. Uh, there's a lot more activity up this way than what there is down the other way, at least right now anyway. So that's what I'm going to shoot for. Uh, it's about 5.30 right now. <laughs> it only takes me an hour to get down here, an hour and 15 minutes. Another 20 minutes to walk in there. Uh, and I need to get going there. Uh, I've got to set my stand back up there. Uh, I'm going to be cutting it pretty close for getting it up for daylight. Anyway, so that's what's been going on, and we'll get in there and see if we can't find something. Well, I finally picked a spot. Uh, I'm about a half hour late getting set up, but I wanted to make sure it's in a spot where I might be able to see some deer. <laughs> Right up there is where I uh, filmed that spike corn there rubbing on a tree. Uh, and I walked up this trail and there wasn't much sign up there. Most of the sign is back down here. So yeah, I'm right out in the open too there. Uh, I don't have any cover at all. I can see quite a ways, but so can't the deer. The tree is plenty wide enough to to cover my profile, but it's going to be awful easy to get picked off. All we got is bedding back over in here, and there's bedding probably a 100, 150 yards over that way, and this is kind of like a little pinch point in here. Uh, they'll come down off this hill, or they'll just cross over here. There's a rub right down below me there. Uh, from that big buck and right up on top of the hill here uh, is where we left that track the other day when we were tracking that buck with a dog. Well, I didn't see anything at all this morning. Uh, I'm going to go poke around a little bit there and see what else I can find. Uh, I might come back here and sit this afternoon or uh, depending on what I find, I might move my stand.
So there's a good trail right here. And then there's two or three uh, trails that come across this. Uh, this looks like a pretty good spot there. Right behind me, that tree, uh, that looks like the place to set up, I think. There's bedding all through up in there. Uh, there's a few scattered oaks in here also. No deer tonight. It's Saturday and I'm headed down to my hunting area. I think today I'm going to move my stand. Uh, I'm going to move it probably a couple hundred yards down to where I see all that fresh sign uh, yesterday afternoon. It's a little bit closer to the bedding I think and uh, there's quite a bit more activity there. You know I'm running out of time fast. Uh, it's uh, Saturday today and uh, I didn't hunt this morning because it was cold and uh, it about killed me to hunt all day yesterday. about froze to death. Uh, so I'm going to hunt this afternoon and it's pretty cold today. It's uh, uh, 25 degrees and the wind's blowing 5, 10 miles an hour. Uh, but it's supposed to rain Monday and Tuesday. And that leaves Wednesday, Thursday and Friday to hunt. I can't hunt the last Saturday of the season there because I've got something else I have to do. But, uh, geez, i got to find that buck. That's a little fun fact for you. The uh, heater fan in my truck isn't working. It's almost as cold in here as what it is outside. Uh, that's pretty miserable at the end of the day when you get in the truck to drive an hour home. <laughs> Road solid, pretty chilly. Got everything set up. Now all we need is some deer. Skunked again.